All right, we'll do, we'll do a story time on, on how I come up. So in 99, I went with my uncle Steve Rector to Corpus Christi and we worked on a 138 upgrade job with a company called Mike J. Field. My second day on the job, I went up in the National 1100 Crane Basket with a man named Heath Young. And from then on, I was hooked. We did this job for a month and I come home and I quit school and I got my future wife pregnant. I took a job for Trinity, did maintenance for three or four years, coming up all over south side of Dallas, in Dallas, Fort Worth area. Then I took off a few years for some drug use and I really wish I hadn't done that, but it is what it is. I come back to work around 05 for a couple of little rat hole companies around. Then I got to working for a company called Tesco. Met some good men, a man named Sam Bolton, Joe Solis, Gilbert Harvey, we talked about those two guys. I mean, just some good people, you know. I learned a lot from them fellas too. Uh, Shrek, Ray, man, I'd like to see you boys. Give me a call, Shrek. From there, I went to distribution. I took the leap. Everybody laughed at me too when I got on the distribution side, but I lucked out because I hired on during that Hurricane Gustav restoration. I got six months of training underneath Joe Lee Hobson and John Farrell. And if you know those two men right there, they don't do nothing but fucking get power lines built. Did six months there with them in, the, in Louisiana. Then I hired on with them full time for Jet. Went up to Missouri and worked for a while, digging rock holes, busting. I got a good, I got a good lesson on everything old style through there. From there, I went to a company called Elliott in Oklahoma City. I got a raise from fifteen dollars an hour to twenty-seven bucks an hour, and I thought I was walking on gold. Worked at Elliott for a while. Decided I wanted to get back into the transmission gig. Took a little job for. Uh, Irby, that didn't work out too good. I realized right quick I wasn't supposed to be there. So I come back to doing distribution, bounced around a few times, and here I am. I'm still I'm coming back to Oklahoma. And I'm getting too old and beat up to do this shit for very much longer, so I'm just trying to pass it down to somebody else. All right, that's me, Bo. Take care.